I'm going non-traditional with Archie's Easter gift. He's going to be inundated with chocolate if the size of Jay's egg is anything to go by. Now, what do you think? Well, Archie's sponsored a chicken coop. <laughs> Sponsoring him to do what? Say about the baked beans? Oh, well, I didn't expect you to appreciate it. Aren't you supposed to be at work by now? I see you, darling. <laughs> Jay and his show-off Easter egg. You know, if I had a job, I'd get one size of an house if I wanted. Well, I'm sure I'd give you more money if you ask. You know, looking after a kid's a full-time job as well. Hey, why don't you try and get her into the factory? Jay, give me a job, good one. Well, you won't know if you don't ask. Two cappuccinos, please. Oh, sorry, yeah. Hey, Finn, um, I'm dead sorry about your mate's car. You know what? Some people have got a real attitude problem. You want to watch they don't start picking on you next? Oh, uh, well, no way to come. Who needs Stonewall when we've got you, eh, uh, Ruby? Is he in a good mood? Yeah. Well, until he realises that I have majorly cocked up that holiday rotor, you don't want to be here then. Coffee, boss. Ta. And uh, a rich, like a word. Is Archie okay? Yeah. It's nothing about him. I just thought you might have some hours going. What, job? Yeah. I reckon I could do it. And what about Archie? I mean, who's supposed to look after him? Ruby or Sam. I mean, I ain't asking to ask both to you. But they've both got jobs. I mean, unless you're planning on paying them, where's the sense in that? It's a mum's work, and you know, it's not just about the money. No, I appreciate that you're not here asking for a handout, but let's keep things as they are, eh? I give you your allowance, you look after our son. Was he dish? Well, I think he still owns me. I mean, paying for Archie means he can boss me around. I don't think I help much either. He thinks I give everybody time off to get you in. Oh, you're such a loser. Mm. Why ain't answering your phone? Uh, Jay told me to turn it off. Why was that? Sean. He's in a hospital, intensive care unit. They said he was in a car accident. We'll sort out Amelia. Okay, we're so busy, she won't even have time to worry. Well, look, but don't tell her anything, all right? Not till I've seen it. Yeah, but he's an ICU bed. You might not be allowed in for long. Got a car accident with his mates, and I was worried about him shooting himself. Right. Got some sozzy rolls for the journey and a bit of birthday cake for Sean, just in case he's feeling up the weight. Kerry. No, you've got to be positive, man. The last thing he needs is you two turning up looking like someone died. Oh, what about work? I'll sort it with Jay. Just, just go. All right. right, listen, call me as soon as you've seen the doctor, yeah? And listen, this is our Sean. He's as tough as they come, OK? The answer is still no. I don't want your proxy job. I'm just here to tell you Ali's off. Without permission? Well, she can come here and ask me herself. Well, except she's halfway to Liverpool. What? I'm trying to tell you I was Sean's on an accident. In action? What, you mean he actually passed the training? He was off base with some mates. And is that all you can say, not how is he or how? It is not my concern. Unlike this business. You know, it's always the same. Someone's kid gets the sniffles and my old production line stops. <laughs> Intensive care, up to some machines. And I rallied panicking he might die. You remember that, dear? When our son was fighting for his life. Don't bring Archie into this. Well, Sean's Archie's family. And Ali's been working for you for ages. You could at least pretend to care. Well, poor Archie. Having such a heartless git for a dad. <laughs> 